The question, how can I manage my time sometimes my day ends without making anything significant. 1. Plan your week according to your top three goals. Take an hour on Sundays or first thing Monday morning to take a comprehensive look at your week and plan for working on your top three priorities. These priorities should be derived from your long-term vision which determines your yearly, quarterly and monthly goals and ultimately your weekly and daily objectives. By intentionally planning time for deep work on your most important goals you avoid getting lost in the busy trap and are able to make real progress on the projects that are actually important. 2. Schedule everything in your calendar. Don't just write down your tasks on your to-do list put them in your calendar as well. This forces you to actually estimate the time it takes to do certain activities and thus can be a great help for a more realistic and efficient time management. To fully benefit from this technique, make a deal with yourself. What is in your calendar gets done, what's not in your calendar is not a priority. 3. Start the day with intention. Focus has a lot to do with proactively choosing what you work on. Checking your email first thing in the morning or being stuck in back-to-back -back meetings for a few hours can seriously derail your focus for the day leaving you busy but not productive. Instead, start the day with intention by asking yourself, if I could only do one thing today to make progress on my goals, what would it be? Then, do it first thing in the morning. If that's not possible, block out deep work time during the day and stick to it. Furthermore, Making it a rule to keep mornings for deep work and meetings slash email for afternoons can have a tremendous impact on increasing your focus. 4. Focus on one thing at a time. Multitasking is so 1999. In the constant information overload of the modern world, focus is the new currency and deep work is a skill high in demand. For full focus shut off your notifications, close your browser tabs, close your door and use the Pomodoro technique, C6, if you need to. 5. Keep distractions out. What are the top 5 things that you get distracted by when you are trying to work on something important? Everyone has their own vices and thus, everyone needs their own no distraction strategy. If you feel the urge to reply to every email the minute you receive it, schedule dedicated time slots for attacking your inbox and systematically work through all your emails at once. For the rest of the time, turn off email notifications entirely or use a tool like IFTT to send you a text message when you get an email from a specific email address, e.g., your boss, your investor or a high-priority client. If you are distracted by social media or get lost in binges, use tools like Stay. Focused or off time to limit the time spent on certain sites or apps. If you are constantly distracted by your colleagues or your boss, there is a few ways you could approach this. Agree with them on certain no distraction times. Use lunch and coffee breaks to talk things over or agree on which issues and questions are classified as urgent. E. G. When someone else is entirely blocked to continue with their work, and which topics to keep for discussion in your weekly meetings.